the road to success is not always a direct route. There are always curves, bumps, and unexpected detours. The only ones that survive on this road are those who believe that success is a journey rather than a destination. Many don't get it right the first time, the second, or even the third. Located just on the outskirts of the capital city, Suva, is the Nambua Secondary School, home to the Matua program. Like many others who have benefited from this program, so has Sikeli Ravuvu. At the age of 23, Sikeli was offered a second chance to education. I came into the Matua program in 2014, and in the month of uh, February, uh, by that time the school system was already, the school term actually began, uh, we began in, in January. And when I came in, I actually uh, went to the course coordinator back then, who was Master Kemo. I actually did the enrollment and I actually uh, hopped on board and actually proceeded on my studies. During my first day, when I was still going through a lot with, uh, with my failures, that didn't actually put myself, like, put me down. But then I actually just stood up for the occasion and just worked hard for it. So second year, I set for the, for the, I actually repeated for the second year time. And by this time, I was going through a lot. But still, I managed just to you know, keep my mouth shut and just work hard towards what I wanted. Second year, I got my results, I failed. By the third time I, I, I set for year 12, I was, I must say that there was the darkest moment of my life, whereby I had to go through a lot and I really endured a lot. But luckily for that, in 2016, I finally passed my uh, year 12 examinations. In year 13, I actually just sat for once. My year 13 last year, I passed with very good marks and um, I paved the way to university to USP. The number of school dropouts in Fiji have increased drastically in the past years. A total of 777 students dropped out of school while another 445 were kicked out of school between July 2016 and June 2018 revealed by the National Substance Abuse and Advisory Council, Fiji. This increases the dire need for school dropouts access to academic qualification and the realization that they cannot go far in life without it. Established in 2003, the Matua program is the first and only program that conducts academic open schooling in Fiji. This, um, the matua, for those who do not understand the word matua, it's a it okay word eh, for adults and matured, matured individuals who at one time were not able to complete their secondary education due to some unforeseen circumstances like uh, teenage pregnancy, peer pressure and um, parent separation. You know, it affects them while young while at the teenage uh, age. Eh? In fact, this program, this mature program, this adult program is like an unto, you know, I always like an unto a bridge eh? that connects school dropouts back to the school system. And uh, most of them have become teachers. Most of them have become teachers and uh, other well-paid jobs out there um, in the job market. Nambua Secondary School runs a dual system that offers the normal school program during school hours and the matua program for youths and adults in the evening. The two programs uses the same curriculum, are taught by the same teachers, take the same examinations and offer the same qualifications. The matua teachers are sacrificing their family time to teach our matua students. That's uh, the thing, uh, well, we will not give up and they enjoying uh, uh, teaching even though they don't get uh, that, um, that pay that we expect. But uh, as I've said, this is a, a second chance program and our God is a God of second chances and He's blessing us. While the program is beneficial for the students, it takes a toll on the teachers. Teachers of the school volunteer their services for the Matua Night School. It is never an easy task.
We have to teach students who have been away from school for four years, eh? and then they have to rejoin the secondary school, and then so you have to stay back after working hours from four, and then you have to start at five till eight o'clock in the afternoon, at night, till night. And um, so you're losing a little bit of your family time at home, but that's not a problem. <laughs> But for the teachers who have sacrificed their time and effort in teaching these students, there is no barrier in giving these students rightful second chances to education. Uh, it's an advantage to those students whereby nowadays uh, education is free for. So they should be, this is an advantage eh, to most of those uh, students. And uh, another good part of being, you come to interact with uh, Many of the students, you get to know them better. It's like teaching, uh, I can clearly say that it's just like teaching FNU or university level, right? That's an added advantage to the teaching profession, right? Teaching mature students. It is not only about how this program has benefited the students that shares the importance of the mature program, but it is how the program itself has given hope and perseverance for some who have nearly lost their interest and passion in teaching. I have to be honest in saying that I was just losing interest in this uh, teaching program. But then when I took up the mature program, I was kind of rekindled. That interest came up again in teaching you know, older students, eh? mature, mature teachers, uh, mature students who, whom I could relate to easily. The Matua program is community-based and thrives on the strong partnership between the school committee, the Parents and Teachers Association, the Nambua Village community and Matua Taxis, now known as the Tiko Kebe Taxis. All right. Operating a fleet of 100 taxis across the road, the Tiko Kebe taxis provide free transportation for the mature teachers teaching at night right to their doorsteps. Between this support group, they have sustained a project that has given many youths like Sikeli another chance at completing their education. I knew Sikeli when I first entered last year, flamboyant, uh, outgoing personality, yeah? where Sikeli would be known amongst the students here as head boy because of his uh, out, outspoken attitude. But then um, one thing that I found with Sikeli, he was really into studying and he was never, never ashamed to, to tell everybody that he had repeated uh, Form 6 and he sat for Form 6 or ER 12 exams three times. And on the third time, he passed. He worked knowing that his age, you know, was going on. He was getting older. But one thing that I admired Sikeli for was his straightforwardness and being you know, not shy to tell other people that if he can pass, having sat for uh, year 12 exams three times to get on to Form 7, then why can't they? Well, if I continue on with the good, with the good marks and the good grades um, that, that I'll be getting uh, through my uh, four year, through the, through the next three years of being here in USP, uh, I probably would see myself. Uh, my career job is to probably probably work at the work in a cruise ship, cruise liner. Probably uh, Royal Caribbean or, or PNO will do for me to actually uh, work and travel the world to the mature teachers and uh, scholars. Thank you so much. You don't know that uh, amount of impact that you have uh, had on us and, 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 and me as a former scholar. I will uh, cherish those moments and uh, I will always talk about the Matua program and the impact it has on me and it has given me a second chance to come back here to, uh, to university and actually uh, finish off my degree. The Matua program demonstrates that it is never too late or too early for learning.